In human body, there is a pair of filtration and excretory organs. They are called kidneys. The filtration function of the kidneys occurs in about one million spherical structures, and these spherical structures are called glomeruli. Under normal conditions, the plasma protein in the glomerular capillaries is controlled by the intact filtration barrier and goes along with blood flow. On the micromolecule substances, such as metabolites of normal organism, creatinine and micromolecular protein, can go through the filtration barrier into renal capsular space. and then be passed out with urine. Pathological changes in different parts of the kidney lead to different pathological types of kidney disease. Membranous nephropathy is a common pathological type of primary kidney disease. It is an epithelial cell disease caused by autoimmune reaction. It is also called podocyte disease. Its pathological feature is the thinking of basement membrane and fusion of food processes. The pathogenesis of membranous nephropathy due to infection, tumor, and autoimmune disease, internal environment of the organism changes, which can make podocyte to express abnormally, and phospholipase A2 receptor on podocyte membrane expose. This abnormal phospholipase A2 receptor will be labeled as alien components in immune recognition process. As the main components, they activate the body's immune system to generate phospholipase A2 anti-receptor antibodies. These antibodies are mainly IgG4, which can combine with phospholipase A2 receptor to form in situ circulating immune complex. At the same time, those antibodies combine mannose binding lexin to activate components, which can direct effect on in situ circulating immune complexes on the podocyte. After a series of reactions, membrane attack complexes will be produced. Those complexes can cause damage to the epithelial cells and fusion of food process. When the in situ immune complexes evolve from the epithelial cells, they deposit on the glomerular basement membrane to stimulate the basement membrane to for proliferate and thinking. resulting in glomerular filtration membrane damage and protein leakage. So as to form proteinuria. Membranous nephropathy can be divided into four stages and electron microscope. Membranous nephropathy stage 1 In that, immune complexes deposit onto glomerular capillary basement membrane. Membranous nephropathy stage 2 is that the increased immune complexes can stimulate glomerular basement membrane to sinking, leading to spikes.
membranes nephropathy stage three is that the increased spikes cover the immune complexes. Membranous nephropathy stage four is that immune complexes are gradually absorbed, showing a chain-like change on basement membrane.